Hey guys, Dan here. Today I'm going to answer a reader question that I get quite often. And that question is, how do you safely transport a camera in a non-camera specific bag? Now, an example of this might be if you're backpacking with a 60, 70, 80 liter backpacking bag and 95% of the gear in your bag is camping equipment or just clothes and stuff like that, but you want to take a camera and a lens with you as well. Or perhaps you are going backcountry skiing and you're using a pack like this, the Arc'teryx Cam Ski, which is a very specific backcountry pack. Now, you've got all your safety equipment in here and you've got all your supplies and you've got all your rescue gear, but you also want to carry a camera in there as well. What's the best way to do that? I've got a few different options for you to consider. The first option is to purchase a camera block like this. This one is from Mindshift Gear and it's their Panorama Horizon insert and it's designed for their specific camera bags but that doesn't mean that's all you can use it for. Actually this fits really well in a variety of medium to large size backpacks. Now there's many companies that make these camera inserts. You've got them from F-Stop Gear, Mindshift Gear, Crumpler makes some excellent ones. There's even some from Low Pro. Pretty much every camera bag manufacturer has got these available as additional accessories. So you can usually find one that fits your camera bag or your non-camera bag, I should say, really well. Now, the thing about these is that they tend to hold more than just a camera and a lens. So sometimes that's not what people are looking for. In fact, quite often, this isn't what they're looking for. This is actually a bit too big. So it's one option. It's actually an option that I do use quite often in this uh, backcountry Arc'teryx pack, the cam ski that I was mentioning. But I appreciate that for most people, um, they don't necessarily have a lot of lenses. So the other options are a simple neoprene cover. Now I have a few of these lying around. This one is from Lens Coat. I think these guys make some really great products. I'm sure there are other companies, but Lens Coat seems to be the most prolific one. They're super easy to scrunch down and stick in a travel bag or something like that. And it's just simply a neoprene wrap that is shaped like a camera with a lens on it. You can get different sizes for different size bodies, mirrorless cameras, pro size DSLRs, and then different lengths depending on what kind of lens it is you want to stay attached. Something like this looks quite small, but actually it fits a 5D Mark III and a 24 to 70 because neoprene is really stretchy. So actually when you put it in there, this whole thing stretches out and it gives just, you know, small bump and scratch protection to your camera and your lens, which a lot of time is all you need because it's going to be buried in your bag amongst a bunch of other things, clothes and stuff like that. So that's one option. The next option is what we have in this little blue pouch. It's actually folded into itself. And this is called the Ultra Light Camera Cover from Mindshift Gear. Now, rather than unpacking this one, I actually have one in this bag that's already fitted. So I'm gonna open this up. And in here, we can see one size of the Ultra Light Camera Cover. Now, we have an elastic strap which goes around the lens, you pull that back. And what we have here is kind of like a small bag for your camera. So inside, I've got a 5D Mark III with a 16 to 35 on there. Now, if we have a look at this, you can see that it's very flexible, kind of scrunches up, goes, folds into itself to create this sort of small packet. Uh, they're available in three different sizes. There's a 10, which is for mirrorless cameras and maybe the small Rebel Canon cameras. The 20, which is for your 5D Mark III, your D800, your 7D, and the 30, which is for, well, you can still use a 5D in it, but it's big enough that you can also use a D5 or a 1DX, something like that. And again, similar to the neoprene, the idea is that it just gives you small bump protection and scratch proof, um, cover for your camera rather than being as padded as something like one of these internal camera things. So there's an expectation if you're going to do this method that there's going to be something else in the bag as well that might help to protect it or that you're just going to be really careful with it. So uh, personally I tend to use the 30 size, the ultralight camera cover 30. Um, I prefer to have something that's a bit bigger because then I can use a longer lens if I want to rather than having to carry around different sizes. So the 30 is my go-to size. Um, 
it just has just the right amount of padding and it doesn't weigh too much it doesn't cost too much they're 40 or 50 dollars depending on the size and they have a secondary application as well because it has a belt here as well so what you can actually do is put this thing around your waist and the idea is that when the camera is in here the shoulder strap of the camera will be taking the weight of the camera for the most part. But what this will be doing is just stabilizing the camera, just stopping it from swinging around. That means you can go out and you can do a super lightweight mission with uh, your landscape kit if you just want to climb around, climb a mountain or something like that, and just be really active, but without the camera swinging around all over the place and also without carrying a dedicated camera bag. So that is actually what the main design for these ultralight camera covers is for. It's a lightweight kit for being active with your camera. You know, they're not designed for what I'm suggesting them. Um, they just happen to work really, really well for it. So if you are hiking and you've got all your camping gear and these huge backpacks, but you wanna carry along a camera and a lens, the Mindshift Gear ultralight camera covers are awesome for protection. Or you've also got these neoprene covers from Lens Coat. And then if you wanna take something a little bit more, perhaps you want to throw in an extra lens, that's when you're going to start looking at some kind of internal camera block like this Mindshift one or similar ones from Crumpler and F-Stop gear and stuff like that. So those are really your three best options. I've tried all kinds of things out. Um, I'm really in love with the ultralight camera cover method at the moment. Um, it just seems to work really well for me. So I'd urge you guys to check it out. Thanks for watching.